Do class A, AB, and B amplifiers have more than one amplification stage? I know these are difficult questions sometimes, but I'm going to tackle it. We got, we got our whiteboard here. All right, this comes from Leonardo in Piedmont, Italy. Paul, I hear you talking a lot about input and output stages of amplifiers, indeed, and also about gain, and therefore I'm guessing power ones, okay? But I can't seem to find neither explanations nor schemes or breakdowns of amplifiers that have more than a single stage. I mean, I've always thought that class A, A, B, B, and valve amplifiers had a single stage of amplification where the input signal gets boosted in voltage and the amps get fed in. Is there something I'm missing or have misunderstood? Okay, where do we start? It's always kind of, a, I'm gonna put the glasses over here and attempt to do it without glasses, yeah. So it's always uh, a challenge to try and cram something simple into these uh, videos, but generally, depending on what kind of amplifier you have, there's at least two stages, and that is fairly typical. Not always, though, but it's rare that there aren't two stages, but let, let, let's, let's break that down a little bit. There are different kinds of amplification. So we, uh, of the two kinds of amplification that we might be concerned with, what color should I pick? Blue? We'll pick blue. Oh, nice assortment. Somebody went to all the trouble to buy all those. All right, so generally speaking, we have two kinds of amplification. Voltage amplification and current amplification. Now, the one that you're probably thinking of is voltage amplification. So in voltage amplification, hmm, doesn't erase very well. Uh, if I put a little signal in here, I get a big signal out here, right? And that's what you're probably thinking of, and, th and that, that is, in fact, correct. So uh, we, we could draw, wow, I wonder why that, maybe I have a bad eraser. Let's see what this one is. That sucks too. Maybe this is a permanent marker. Hmm, no, dry erase. Well, what do I know? All right, so if, if we want to draw, let's say a simple preamplifier, okay? So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll put a capacitor. Uh, we'll just draw a transistor. So let's just, let's make it stupid simple we won't have a dual power supply. So up here's plus, here's our input thingy. Um, and then we, we're gonna need some bias resistors to turn it on and nah, we don't wanna do that. See, this thing should erase better. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put a little arrow there. So if, just round numbers, just talking here, right? So if this is a 10K resistor and this is a 1K resistor, we have a gain of 10. So if I put in one volt here, I'm gonna get a big 10 volts out here, all right? That's a single voltage gain stage. Um, that's 20 dB. So there you have a preamp, right? Now we have to do things because the DC here is going to be, and, and the DC here is not what we want because this has to be zero DC going in and zero DC going out, so we're gonna have to have another capacitor. But let's, let's just, for the, the sake of, our, maybe I'll put some schmutz on it. Let's see what happens if I schmutz it. When we were talking about the world's best chicken noodle soup, I used the term schmaltz, which is chicken fat, and now we're using another Yiddish term, which is schmutz, and that's, um, ooh, look at that. Damn, we are downtown. All right, so you sort of saw how we just took one transistor and we kind of made that thing, right? But now, and here's that thing again. 
a uh, little going in, big going out. But now we have to drive a power amp or a cable or something, right? And so I've got this big 10K resistor out here. It can't do much. If you start loading it down with anything on the output, it's going to get ugly. And <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to put a buffer on it. What's a buffer? A buffer is what I had originally showed you, a current amplifier. So this one amplifies voltage, little voltage in, big voltage out. A current amplifier, whatever I put in, I'm going to get exactly that out, only this one will have the ability to drive something, low output impedance, and this one has high output impedance, right? So this is like a mini little power amp. So now my complete thing, I have voltage gain here, so we've got 10 times voltage gain here, and now I've got whatever, you know, if, if I want to have 100 ohms output impedance here, and I got a 10K input impedance, well, you know, what is that? What, whatever the difference is, 1,000, 10,000, I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is, uh, that's the current gain I have there, and out she goes, and we can drive cables, we can do whatever we want, and that's a typical single voltage gain stage, but two-stage amplifier. So one last thing, just so in case you're falling asleep. Um, we'll try our schmutz, see how we do. Woo, look at that. Damn. Oh, Ooh, that's like nails on a blackboard. Jesus. Oh, nasty, sorry. Uh, however said, most gain stages are actually two voltage gain stages. Why is that? That is because what I showed you originally in a single gain stage, and I'm going to try to be conservative because I don't want to keep cleaning this thing off, um, all my DC voltages were mucked up. Well, I guess I'm going to have to show it anyway, right? So we'll just put it over here. So, see that? Okay. Now, in order for this to do what it has to do, in order to make it work, th this, <clears throat> so up here, let's say we have uh, 20 volts. Uh, and, and this is going to have to sit way down here uh, in, in order to get us up to somewhere along here that we want, and likely this is going to sit up fairly high, depending on how many volts we want to swing. Okay, if we want to swing a volt or two, this is probably going to sit up, oh, I don't know, um, plus 15, and maybe this is going to sit down here, uh, God, I don't know, uh, plus 5, let's say, I, I don't know. Whatever, uh, it's, it's going to amplify that. I'm not good with math. I have to actually work this stuff out. And that's why we put a capacitor here, right? Because that capacitor, so we need zero volts here. And that capacitor is going to block, we put a plus here, so that you know this input voltage, whether it's probably like plus one or something, uh, is going to be uh, not interfering with that zero. But now we also need zero volts out here. So even if we have a current converter, this thing is going to put out plus 15 volts. I can't have that in a system. I need zero volts or halfway between the supply. And that's because, see, I'm always working with this. So let's say it's minus 20 and plus 20. It's easier for me to figure out because a dual supply is better. So we want zero volts, right? But I got 15, so what am I going to do about that? Well, I got to put a damn capacitor out here again. And now I've got kind of a squirrely circuit, not, not, not anything that I'd really want. So to get around that, what we do is we add an inverting stage. And the other thing, too, is I have an inverting stage. So when this comes in, this goes like that. It's inverted. And I, I want a non-inverting amplifier. I don't want to have the phase flipped around. So, what we do is we add another stage. And like this. This is essentially an op amp. So 
So this would be an N channel and a P channel, a PNP, NPN. Uh, and so now this is going to sit fairly high up here. It's going to sit like at one, or well, I have to think back, so 19 volts, something like that. Uh, and th this, by its gain, is going to bring it back down to zero because we're sitting up here. You multiply it times the gain, whatever you have set here, and we have zero in. And if we do that, and we do a couple other little tricks, um, we can have the input be zero. And what you, we wind up having is a, um, uh, a direct coupled amplifier, which is kind of what we wanted, right? So this is actually more typical. And then we can put a current device out here, a buffer, and you, know, you have a three-stage amp. And that's more typical of a class A, class AB, B amplifier. And for those who haven't fallen asleep yet, this actually isn't quite an op amp yet. We could, if we wanted to, this got no feedback, right? So here we've got this signal. It's in phase, coming because we out of phase here. And then that flips it around again, and we're back in phase. Boom, 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 right? Now, if we wanted to, we could add feedback by going like this with a resistor from the output and we could slap it in here. This is not the best way to do it because this is very low impedance. But this input, um, because it now makes it into a, uh, an emitter coupled amplifier, this input, now you've formed a crude op amp. But we want to do a little bit better because of the very low impedance here. This, this is really going to bore some people, I'm sorry but I, I just, I've never shown this before. So what can we do? We can add a voltage buffer in the form of another transistor like this. Or it doesn't even need a resistor. Um, to buffer that, and we'll put one here to ground. And guess what we have? A diff pair. Do, 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 do. So you got a diff pair, and this is a classic op amp. Now, because uh, probably it's probably too squirrely, this is your inverting input minus in, and this is your plus in. So whatever you put in here comes out in the same phase. Whatever you put in here, whether it be feedback or whatever you're doing, comes out of phase. And that, that makes your classic uh, minus plus, you've seen this before, Um, and that's our in, and then this is ground. That symbol, minus, plus, is based on that differential pair, and this flipper rounder, which is called a gain, a gain stage, and you saw how we got there. All right? Tricky, huh? We didn't really need that. I've actually built simple three transistor op amp, or two transistor op amps like this, and I've also built um, three transistor op amps, discrete op amps, but there. Okay. So now that I've thoroughly confused you, I hope I actually answered the question. Um, class dismissed. I'll talk to you tomorrow.